Me and Esme want to tell you about our Monday makes and plans, don't we? So let's get cracking. Hi there, I'm Christine for Gemini Stitcher and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you found me. And if you're an existing subscriber, thanks so much for sticking around. So what have I been up to last week? Well, let's go over the plans that I had because I haven't done very well with them. I'm fessing up again. The plans were to make the Miranda blouse t-shirt and to do the pom-pom waistcoat. Both of them cut out, neither of them sewn up. But hey, life and other sewing projects just got in the way this week. So I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. It's been a bit of a deflated sewing week, if I'm honest. The other thing on my list to do was the Seasons of E-Stress for the gathering. I'll just grab it. Here it is in all its glory. Beautiful fabric. However, I've made this dress before, so I didn't do a twirl. And when I've tried it on, it's a bit clingy around the booby area more than I would like. So I'm a little bit unsure about whether this is gonna be my gathering dress now. Now I am on a weight loss journey, a very slow weight loss journey. So you never know, I've got two weeks, I might lose an inch off the old boobs and then it'll be good to go. Love the dress and it will look nice when I've lost my weight. But that might not be for the gathering. So I've got to have a plan B, haven't I? So shall I tell you or show you? Because I've not got them yet. And I'll pop some images up of what I've got. And you can let me know whether you think it will work. I wanted to find a different pattern. Now I know I'm on a pattern ban, but I'm cutting, giving myself a little bit of slack for special occasions, I've decided. And the gathering, it's the first one I've been to, so you want to look nice, don't you? You want to feel good in what you're wearing, and although these seasons of East stress look nice, I felt uncomfortable in it. I need to lose a few pounds before, I'm, before I feel happy wearing it. So I decided to take a look at Vogue patterns. I've not looked at them for a long time and I used to absolutely love, love, love them before I got into indie patterns. So I've found a pattern and I've ordered it. It's coming this week. It better come this week because I need to crack on with it. So this is the Vogue dress I've found. It's the Vogue V1801. And I just fell in love with it. I like the idea that it is a V at the front. Obviously it's very low. So I'm going to raise that so that my boobs don't drop out. I like the pleated area along the shoulders so it will give me more room for my problem area and hopefully not make my boobs look as big. That's the plan. I love the bat wing. Oh, I'm doing that because I'm not going to get it on. But it's got bat wing flutter sleeves on it, which are actually part of the bodice. So that's going to be an interesting thing to do. Never done that before like the idea of the pleats in the waist at the front so that it hides the top area and the idea of a long floaty skirt so yeah 
I love everything about it. I hope I'm not going to be disappointed. If you've made this dress, can you let me know before I start battling with it? So as I said, I've ordered the pattern and I've ordered some fabric this morning as well because I know, I know I'm not meant to be buying fabric either. But hey, there's no hope for me, is there? In my defence, it is a fabric hungry pattern. I need a three and a half to four metres. And I haven't got a length of fabric that will do that dress in my viscose stash. So I want to do it in a floaty viscose because of the sleeves and the skirt. So I've spent about an hour this morning trying to find the perfect fabric that's not going to break the bank. And Guthrie and Garnet, good old Guthrie and Garnet came to the rescue and I bought the last, I know, so I'm showing you something that you can't buy because I bought the last of this fabric. It's a Narita Hansen. Look at that. It's my colours. I love turquoises. I love pinks, as you know. So on a cream background, I think that's going to be nice and summery. My colours, nice and floaty. And in that Vogue dress, can't wait to get started on it. So obviously, that's one of my plans for next week, isn't it? But before we go into that in any detail, I just want to pop a new section into my Monday Nakes and Plans, if that's all right. And... and I want to start telling you about things that are going on out and about. Because as sewers, we tend to spend a lot of time on our own. Well, I do. Sewing. And the social aspect of sewing can be quite daunting for people to get involved in. And I thought about this last night after I'd done the Sunday social yesterday. Because yesterday was the first Mill House Sunday social. We had 10 of us there. We had a really good day. They were all new ladies, apart from Susan, who comes to our Wednesday one and decided she'd try Sunday. And we had a great time. I met some people in real life who I've chatted to before on Instagram. So I met Ruth from Ruth Creates and that was brilliant. It's just nice to meet people who you think you know, but you don't. If, you make, if that makes sense. So I'm going to pop up the dates for my sewing socials at the Millhouse venue that we've got booked in so far. Now they are on a Wednesday. We are going to look at doing some more Sunday ones or we might do some on a Thursday because the problem we've got now, which is a good problem, that the same people book on to the next month's Wednesday social. So there's very few places for newbies, which is why I've not been promoting it very much, to be honest. But we're thinking we might do a Wednesday and then do the same, do the Thursday the day after on the same week, because that means the room's already set out. We can leave all the social sewing stuff there for the next day. So we'll probably try a couple of those I think but we need to get some dates sorted but these are the Wednesday dates that we've got booked in so far so if you are interested in attending one of my socials get yourself booked on don't leave it till the last minute because they'll get booked on so this Wednesday is our social and the ladies that are there will all want to book on the Wednesday for the following month, or the majority of them will. So if you're thinking of coming in May, then get booked on now. Get booked on it before Wednesday, and then you've got your place for sure. So that's my socials out of the way. The other thing that I get involved in is the virtual social that is run by Sequin Girly Sam from Sequin Girly Creates. Now, virtual socials are a really good way to meet other sewists if, for whatever reason, you can't attend an in-person social. Maybe you've got mobility problems, health issues, 
maybe you suffer with anxiety and can't cope in large groups maybe there's just not one in your area we do a virtual social on soul life gathering and i will put the links to the ones that are available that you book them through eventbrite they're free to book but we do ask for donations if you can't donate but you want to join in then just book a ticket just book it it's fine that's the idea it's to get people socially sewing who perhaps can't attend in-person socials it's exactly the same as being there everybody's on the screen however you want to choose to view it whether it's on your phone on your ipad i do it on my laptop because i like everybody's in a square and you can see everybody a lot better on a bigger screen but you can do it on your phone if you want pay sam sends you a link to the event it's run on google drive and oh, google meet i think it's called sorry yeah and you're just in your own sewing room chatting to other sewers while you're doing your sewing so if that's something you're interested in pop over to instagram start following so live gathering on there and then you'll find out the dates and the links there's also a facebook group and i will pop the link to the facebook group in the details below so that's socials what else is happening now when sharon and i went down to other camps last week we found some really exciting information out for something that i really want to go to and can't the reason is it's on the same day as the gathering and we'll go on to that one next so Abba Khan's twice a year do a huge sale now it's Abba Khan's at Mosty that you need to look for follow them on Instagram and you'll see that there's posts on there about the details of the sale the sales on the 27th of April it gets very very busy now i've never been to one of these sales which is why i wanted to go but at the manchester social nadia social one of the ladies there was telling me what happens and i thought wow this is seriously something you need to do if you can get there basically people are queuing outside they only let so many people in at once when you go in you either choose a small bag or a large bag Now, a large bag is the size of a bin liner, apparently. Don't know what size the small bag is, maybe it's half the size. And all you do is go round, put anything that's on display that day that you want into your bag. Nothing's priced up. Fill your bag with fabric, zips, buttons, cotton, webbing whatever is available that you want to buy fill it to the brim because you pay five pound for a small bag and ten pounds for a large bag ten pounds for a bin liner full of fabric what's not to like about that i wanted to go for the experience and i can't so if you get to go let me know whether it's worth the journey. As I said, they do them twice a year, so I'm hoping that, that there will be one, probably September, October time, that I'll be able to go down to. And I really will. Not that I need any fabric, but hey, you can't not do that, can you? Not, not in my opinion, anyway. So, as I said, I can't go because I'm going to the gathering, and that's the last social thing I want to tell you about in april on the 27th of april it's called the gathering it's in Cle at cleck heat and golf club you get tickets from size me sewing i will pop the link below i'm going sharon's going and susan from seaside stitches is going uh, judy from running so and so said she's going to be there it's going to be a fab night and i cannot wait 
The tickets are only £35, which is a real bargain, and your first drink is free, and there's food provided. So, if you want to meet lots of other sewers, then get yourself a ticket for the gathering, and I'll see you there. Before I go on to what I'm planning to do this week, planning and doing two different things, I know, but I make the plans just to try and keep myself on track. But before I do that, I want to tell you about a couple of collabs that I'm doing. Yes, two collabs. You know, I don't do things by halves, but I really wanted to do these two. The first one is with Cara from So So Mad. There's Cara, if you don't know who she is, where have you been? And she's a big Maison Fauve fan like me. So... I reached out to Cara when she said that she was going to be making the Zenith blouse. There's the Zenith blouse. Absolutely love that blouse. I love the detail of the pleats fanning out along the neckline and down the front. I've already got the pattern. So when she said she was going to do it, I've made it as a dress, never made the blouse. And they are quite different. So as I said, I reached out to Cara, said, do you want to do this as a collab? And she said yes, which was brilliant. So today I'm going to talk to you about my fabric ideas. And then at the end of April, we're both going to do our reveal vlogs of what we've made, what fabrics and how we've done the Zenith blouse. So. I'll just grab my fabrics. Give me a sec. Now, I've got two fabrics. I want to make a wearable toile of this blouse up first. And when you see the second fabric, you'll understand why I'm doing it. So I've got some cotton linen, quite lightweight, not too see-through. And I think it'll be perfect for the zenith because it'll take hold those pleats brilliantly. So I'm going to make this up. I'm going to make it in a size 40. My measurements will be popping up now because I'm talking about making things. So I'm going to make the size 40 because that size fits me. And I'm going to make the Zenith blouse with the little short sleeves for summer in this linen. So that's plan A. And it's going to be made exactly as the Zenith blouse and then, as my challenge zenith blouse, I'm calling it, you all know I got some fabric from Maison Fauve, treated myself, and this is, I hope it was the right way around, you can see the pattern a little bit better, some of their lace, how beautiful is that, it's got shells on it. I'll be putting the details of the fabric content, etc. as I'm talking about it. So I want to make the Zenith blouse in this. Now, I think it should hold the pleats okay. It's quite stiff, so that should work. And then I want to do the elbow length sleeves and then cut into the fabric so there's just a raw edge so that edge will be at the bottom of my sleeve unfinished at the same at the bottom of the blouse the pleats are going in and then i also want to you know just because i'm a mad woman and i like challenging myself i want to try to cut the shells out so I'm going to cut them straight across, I think, and then I'm going to cut round the pack and put a little lace collar around the top, not too deep, around the top of the blouse. We'll see if that works because it depends how the pattern is. I've not really looked at it. Yeah, it should work, actually. 
So that is my little tweak number one. And then little tweak number two is that instead of it being plain at the back, when I got this, I got matching buttons. So I want to extend the back a bit and do a button placket. Now I have got some boil cotton. I have got some cotton lawn that matches this. So I'll probably use that for the button placket, not this lace. And also for the binding, because I'll still have to bind it on the inside, even though I'm putting the lace bit on the outside, because it'll be unfinished seam otherwise. And I don't just want to overlock it. So I'm going to do French seams so that it's all nice and neat on the inside. So yeah, I've turned a reasonably easy blouse into a complicated one for me anyway. So that is my collab plans for the Zenith blouse with Cara from So So Bad. And we will be revealing our makes at the end of April. Pop over to Cara's next vlog because she will be talking about her plans for the Zenith blouse as well. So that's collab number one. And then collab number two. I'll go and get it. Now you'll remember a few weeks back I went to Little Legs Fabrics. Need to go back I think. Anyway, no I don't, I don't need any fabric. But I got myself some bright, flowery, soft shell fabric, which is nice and fleecy on the inside. Great for the weather we've got at the moment, so it's a shame I have not got it made up. Oh, it was horrendous walking across those fields this morning. I got blown across, so if my hair looks a bit dishevelled, that's why. Pole lab number two is going to be with the lovely Mandy from Make It So. I don't know what she's going to use, but we're both going to make the Anne Days jacket. There's the Anne Days jacket from Itch to Stitch. And I'm making mine in this fabric. Now, Mandy's a lot taller than me. So it'll be interesting to see how this jacket looks on both of us. Now the Andes jacket is quite sort of hip length. I'm thinking I'm not going to alter the length of the jacket because I'd quite like it to be a bit longer for dog walking, etc. So I'm not going to alter the length of the bodice. Um, obviously, I'm going to have to alter the length of the sleeves. And yeah, we'll see how we get on with that because I've never really made a jacket in soft shell before. Ordered a zip, all the zips, because there's a zip at the front and there's two zip pockets. Just waiting for them to arrive and then I can make a start on the Andes. So pop over to Mandy's channel. I will put the link in the details below and then you can see what plans she's got. Now, the reveal for this collab is going to be, I think, the end of the first week in May. So, you know, I've got an extra week to get this done. Can't wait. I really want to get this made because I need to wear it. So, keep your eyes peeled. Go and have a look at Mandy's. See what you think of her fabric. And then give her Subscribe to her channel so that you then don't miss out on her reveal as well. I feel like I've had a lot to say to you today. I know a lot of makers to show up. But we need to make plans for next week, girls. I need to make plans and then hopefully I get at least one of them done. So the gathering is galloping towards us. I've got two weeks, so as I said, I've got that pack, Vogue pattern ordered and the fabric from Guthrie and Garney. So if they arrive this week, I'm going to get that fabric in the wash quick sticks. I'm going to do a twirl of the bodice of the Vogue pattern to make sure it fits in some fabric from my stash. 
and then I can hopefully make a start on my plan B gathering dress. I've got the fabric for my Maison Fauve jacket, so I'm going to get that cut out and we'll see if we can make a start on that while I'm waiting for my Vogue pattern to arrive and my fabric from Guthrie and Garvey. So I'm going to get this cut out and make a start on the Narg Libra jacket from Maison Vauve, inspired by Cara again. So yeah, looking forward to making that. That's not off top of my list. I've been desperate to make that. I wouldn't let myself make it until I'd made the Seasons of East dress. So that is definitely on my radar. So it's that, and then when the Vogue pattern comes, I'll be working on that. So that's all I'm putting on my radar for this week. Because the other thing that I'm doing is Sharon, my bestie, is coming to the gathering with me. And she quilts and does soft furnishing. She's made the most amazing curtains over, the ta over time, but never actually made a garment for herself. So I've challenged her to make her own outfit for the gathering. And she's agreed. And that's why we went down to Upper Calves the other week. Sorry if I've already told you all this. At the social yesterday, she cut her pattern out. So the plan is that we're going to do, we both bought the same fabric at Abacars. So we're going to do a one fabric, two ways vlog together. She's going to sew her dress up at the socials. So, well, on Wednesday, hopefully. She did the bodice 12, was absolutely buzzing because it fit, which was brilliant. So now it's starting on her special fabric and I'm going to make a garment in the same fabric as well. So Sharon's going to do a beginner garment. I'm going to do one that's a little bit more difficult, an intermediate one. And then we're going to record various stages of it and give you a twirl at the end. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. It will be before the gathering because we've got to get the dresses made. Well, Sharon has anyway. I've got my Vogue one to do. So, you know, so I've got that going on in the background as well. So I think that's more than enough this week, if I'm honest. Before I go, I bought a little bit of fabric. I know I'm always buying fabric. But instead of, in my defence, instead of going on the sites, looking how much I have to buy to get free postage. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm just buying what I actually want. And I'm trying to buy quality fabrics as well. So, I made the fatal mistake of watching the Northern Soul Sisters and they've done a vlog all about sewing in rib knit fabrics and thought, that's quite interesting actually. Might get some tips off them. Fatal because fell in love with the fabric they're using to do their knit rib knit fabrics. And I sat there with my iPad watching them and placed an order. But oh my god, it is beautiful. I apologise if there's none left, but let me grab it. I ordered a patterned one and a plain one. So I've ordered one and a half metres of the patterned one. Look at that. Phenomenal. Now, I also know that Beck from What Beck Sells has ordered this very same, or she's got this very same fabric because she showed it on her vlog on Friday. So I've reached out to Becky and said, can we do a collab? One fabric, two ways. If we get a chance to do it, we will be doing it with this fabric, but it's not been firmed up yet. I am quite busy in April, so it will be May, and I'm hoping Becky can wait till May to make her beautiful fabric up, because it'd be fab to see this done, two different versions. I think we're both planning a top of some kind, but that's all I know. That's all I know what I want to do with it right now. 
got too much other stuff to think about. I, I, I can't even start thinking about that because then I'll want to make it up and I've not got time. And then, just because I can, they had a plain rib in a popping pink. So I got two metres of this as well. Initially, I thought I was going to make a cohort set and do a top in that and the pants in the bright pink. And I'm not sure now. I have got a dress pack that I would quite like to make this in. It's the Brisbane dress from Itch to Stitch. There it is. Now, that's a above the knee length, but I quite fancied making it. I like the keyhole detail in the front. And I've already got the pattern. Made it up before. Works for me. And I quite like the idea of making a longer length one in that pink. I've got more than enough with two metres, so I'd have enough to make a top as well, probably. So let me know what you think. What should I make this up in? Should I do it with a pair of trousers as a cohort? But then I'd just wear it as loungewear and it's too beautiful the fabric to just wear around the house for me. So yeah, that's the only fabric apart from the one from Guthrie and Garnet that I've got this week. So not too bad, not too bad at all. And that's it really. As if that's not enough to be getting on with, hey? So I'm going to go now and get this fabric cut out. I've already cut the pattern out. So I just need to get the fabric cut out for the Nargleeper coat. I think I'm going to make the short version for summer. And I might have enough left to make a matching bag. How brilliant would that be? So enough about me. I've been rabbiting on for ages. And I know you all want to go and get your sewing done. So I'll let you go. My next vlog will be out on Wednesday. And I've done a vlog all about five tank tops patterns that I want to make up that are great scrap busters. So if that's something you're interested in and you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe and then you'll get notified when that vlog goes up. Talking about subscribers, it's gone a little bit slow and I know we have peeps and troughs on subscriptions and views and everything else but I'm, and I don't mention it or I don't think I mention it an awful lot in my vlogs but if you watch my channel and you're not subscribed, please consider doing it. It helps my little channel to grow. It doesn't cost you anything. You don't get bombarded with emails and minded to death by me or by YouTube. It just means that my vlogs will appear on your feed when you go on YouTube and then you know I'll put a new vlog out. So, on that note, I am definitely going. So take care, have a happy sewing week and I'll see you on Wednesday for my tank top collection. Bye for now.